Electro or electrofunk is a genre of electronic music and early hip hop directly influenced by the use of the Roland TR-808 drum machines and funk. Records in the genre typically feature drum machines and heavy electronic sounds, usually without vocals, although if vocals are present they are delivered in a deadpan manner, often through electronic distortions such as vocoding and talkboxing. This is the main distinction between electro and previously prominent genres such as disco, in which the electronic sound was only part of the instrumentation. It also palpably deviates from its predecessor Boogie for being less vocal-oriented and more focused on electronic beats produced by drum machines. Following the decline of disco music in the United States, electro emerged as a fusion of funk and New York Boogie. Early hip-hop and rap combined with German and Japanese electropop influences such as Kraftwerk and Yellow Magic Orchestra YMO inspired the birth of electro. In 1982, producer Arthur Baker with Africa Bambata released the seminal Planet Rock, which was built using samples from Kraftwerk's Trans Europe Express and drum beats supplied by the TR-808. Planet Rock was followed later that year by another breakthrough electro record, Nunk by Warp 9. In 1983, Hashem created an electro funk sound which influenced Herbie Hancock, resulting in his hit single, Rocket. The early 1980s were Electro's mainstream peak. By the mid-1980s, the genre moved away from its electronic and funk influences, using harder-edged beats and rock samples, exemplified by Run DMC. Electro became popular again in the late 1990s with artists such as Anthony Rother and DJs such as Dave Clark. A third wave of popularity occurred in 2007. Electro has branched out into subgenres, including electrocore and squee, which developed in Sweden and Finland. Topic: <laughs> Definition and characteristics. From its inception, one of the defining characteristics of the electro sound was the use of drum machines, particularly the Roland TR-808, as the rhythmic basis of the track. As the genre evolved, computers and sampling replaced drum machines in electronic music, and are now used by the majority of electro producers. It is important to note, that although the electro of the 1980s and contemporary electro electronic dance music both grew out of the dissolution of disco, they are now different genres. Classic 1980s electro drum patterns tend to be electronic emulations of breakbeats occasionally a four-to-the-floor pattern is used as well, with a syncopated kick drum, and usually a snare or clap accenting the backbeat. The difference between electro drum beats and breakbeats or breaks is that electro tends to be more mechanical, while breakbeats tend to have more of a human-like feel, like that of a live drummer. The definition, however, is somewhat ambiguous in nature due to the various uses of the term. The Roland TR-808 drum machine hit the market in 1980, defining early electro with its immediately recognizable sound. Staccato, percussive drumbeats tended to dominate electro, almost exclusively provided by the TR-808. As an inexpensive way of producing a drum sound, the TR-808 caught on quickly with the producers of early electro because of the ability of its bass drum to generate extreme low frequencies. This aspect of the Roland TR-808 was especially appealing to producers who would test drive their tracks in nightclubs like NYC's Funhouse, where the bass drum sound was essential for a record's success. Its unique percussion sounds like handclaps, open and closed hi-hat, clave and cowbell became integral to the electro sound. A number of popular songs in the early 1980s employed the TR-808, including Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing, Cybertron's Clear, and Africa Bambata's Planet Rock. The Roland TR-808 has attained iconic status, eventually being used on more hits than any other drum machine. Through the use of samples, the Roland TR-808 remains popular in electro and other genres to the present day. 
Other electro-instrumentation was generally electronic, favoring analog synthesis, programmed bass lines, sequenced or arpeggiated synthetic riffs, and atonal sound effects all created with synthesizers. Heavy use of effects such as reverbs, delays, chorus or phasers along with eerie synthetic ensemble strings or pad sounds emphasized the science fiction or futuristic themes of classic 1980s electro, represented in the lyrics and or music. Electro hip-hop group Warp 9's 1983 single, Light Years Away, produced and written by Lottie Golden and Richard Scher, exemplifies the sci-fi, Afrofuturist aspect of electro, reflected in both the lyrics and instrumentation. The imagery of its lyrical refrain space is the place for the human race pays homage to Sun Ra's 1974 film, while its synth lines and sound effects are informed by sci-fi, computer games, and cartoons. Born of a science fiction revival. Most electro is instrumental, but a common element is vocals processed through a vocoder. Additionally, speech synthesis may be used to create robotic or mechanical lyrical content, as in the iconic Planet Rock and the Automatist chant in the chorus of Nunk by Warp 9. Although primarily instrumental, early electro utilized rap. Male rap dominated the genre, however female rappers are an integral part of the electro tradition, whether featured in a group as in Warp 9 or as solo performers like Roxanne Chante. The lyrical style that emerged along with electro became less popular by the 1990s, as rapping continued to evolve, becoming the domain of hip-hop music. About electro origins, Greg Wilson claims. Topic history Following the decline of disco music in the late 1970s, various funk artists such as Zapp and Roger began experimenting with talk boxes and the use of heavier, more distinctive beats. Boogie played a role during the formative years of Electro, notably Feels Good by Electra Emergency, EMDS 6527, the post-disco production You're the One for Me by D-Train Prelude, PRLD 621, and the Eric Matthew, Daryl Payne Productions Thanks to You by Cinnamon Beckett, BKD 508, and On a Journey I Sing the Funk Electric by Electric Funk Prelude, PRLD 541. One. Electro eventually emerged as a fusion of different styles, including funk, boogie combined with German and Japanese technopop, in addition to influences from the futurism of Alvin Toffler, martial arts films, and video game music. The genre's immediate forebearers included Kraftwerk, Yellow Magic Orchestra (YMO), and Cat Stevens. In 1980, YMO was the first band to utilize the TR-808 programmable drum machine. That same year, YMO member Yuichi Sakamoto released Riot in Lagos, which is regarded as an early example of electro music, and is credited for having anticipated the beats and sounds of electro. The song's influence can be seen in the work of later pioneering electro artists such as Africa Bambata and Mantranix.1982 was a watershed year for electro. Bronx-based producer Africa Bambata released the seminal track, Planet Rock, which contained elements of Kraftwerk's Trans Europe Express from the album of the same name and Numbers from Kraftwerk's 1981 Computer World album, combined with the use of distinctive TR-808 beats. Planet Rock is widely regarded as a turning point in the electro genre, like a light being switched on. Another groundbreaking record released that year, Nunk by Warp 9, utilized imagery drawn from computer games and hip hop slanguage. Although remaining unreleased, a pre Def Jam Russell Simmons produced Bruce Jark's proto hip hop single, Party Machine, at a studio in Philadelphia. Electro hip hop releases in 1982 include songs by Planet Patrol, Warp 9, Man Parish, George Clinton, Computer Games, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Tyrone Brunson, The Johnzoon Crew and Houdini. In 1983, Hashem created the influential electro funk tune Al Nafiish, The Soul, which became Cutting Records' first release in November 1983. At the time Hashem was influenced by Man Parish's Hip Hop, Bebop, Thomas Dolby's She Blinded Me With Science and Africa Bambata's Planet Rock. 
Al Nafiish was later included in Playgroup's compilation album Kings of Electro 2007 alongside other electro classics such as Sarkarmotos Riot in Lagos. Also in 1983, Herbie Hancock, in collaboration with Grand Mixer D Street, released the hit single Rocket. Bambata and groups like Planet Patrol, Johnzoon Crew, Mantranix, Nucleus, Warp 9 and Wan Atkins Detroit-based group Cybertron went on to influence the genres of Detroit techno, ghetto tech, breakbeat, drum and bass and electroclash. Early producers in the electro genre, notably Arthur Baker, John Roby and Shep Pettibone, later featured prominently in the Latin freestyle or simply freestyle movement, along with Lottie Golden and Richard Scher, the producer writers of Warp 9, fusing electro, funk, and hip hop with elements of Latin music. Detroit techno DJ Eddie Falk shaped a style called Electro Soul, which was characterized by a predominant bass line and a chopped up electro breakbeat contrasted with soulful male vocals. Curtis Mantronic's Electro Soul productions for Joyce Sims presaged New Jack Swing's combination of hip hop and soul elements. By the late 1980s, the genre evolved into what is known today as new school hip hop. The release of Run DMC's It's Like That 1983 marked a stylistic shift, focusing down on the beats in a stark, metal minimalism. Rock samples replaced synthesizers that had figured so prominently in electro, and rap styles and techniques evolved in tandem, anchoring rap to the changing hip-hop culture. Baker, Pettibone, Golden and Sher enjoyed robust careers well into the house era, eluding the genre trap to successfully produce mainstream artists. Topic. Community Despite palpably heterosexist and male-dominated, like the hip-hop culture it aligns itself with, electro-music-oriented clubs historically catered to anglophile post-punk art scene members and uptown hip-hop breakdance crews, inspiring a mixed-race subculture. Topic contemporary electro Although the early 1980s were electro's heyday in the mainstream, it enjoyed renewed popularity in the late 1990s with artists such as Anthony Rother and DJs such as Dave Clark, and has made yet another comeback for a third wave of popularity in 2007. The continued interest in electro, though influenced to a great degree by Florida, Detroit, Miami, Los Angeles and New York styles, has primarily taken hold in Florida and Europe with electro club nights becoming commonplace again. The scene still manages to support hundreds of electro labels, from the disco electro of clone records, to the old school b-boy styles of break-in records and dominance electricity, to the electrofunk of Sitonite, and to harder more modern styles of electro of labels like bass frequency productions and new illusion music. New branches of electro have risen over the last couple of years. Florida has pioneered the electrical sound, started in the late 1990s by artists like Jackal and Hyde and Dynamics 2 and carried on to this day. Squee is a genre which developed in Nordic countries such as Sweden and Finland, hence its first name, Scandinavian funk. The outlets and artists of Squee are still mostly limited to the Nordic countries. From the late 1990s onward, the term «electro» is also used to refer to other fusion genres of electro, either blended with techno and new wave in electroclash, or with house and the former in electro house. There is some debate within the electro community on how much these genres constitute electro. <laughs> Artists. Topic. See also Electroclash Electro House Funk Glitch Music <laughs>